we'll start so what we will be doing for the day with respect to forestry and geog geology orientation we'll first speak about forestry and we'll speak about geology right in both this we will be discussing about the subject one how to cover in short time for mains 2023 right how to score more marks subject unit wise discussion in terms of how to prepare how to write and how to score that we will be discussing with respect to this right so we'll be discussing about the subject nature and how to cover in short time how to score more marks subject unit wise discussion on how to prepare structure the answer and score and courses offered by Vajiram and Ravi and how the course will go on. That is what we will be discussing with respect to it, right? This is one, right? Second part, this is common for both forestry and geology. Uh, I will explain, I will take the doubts uh, after discussion will go on. One session, we'll keep it for the open session of doubts. Yashpal, Rupan, Rupam, all these doubts, we will take it with respect to one. Second, uh, so first of all, I'm Karthikeyan, faculty Vajiram and Ravi, geography optional with respect to Chennai Center and forestry optional in Chennai and Delhi. Right? And I will be handling forestry option optional, where geology optional will be handled by another faculty, Mr. Aravind. And I will be discussing with respect to it. As he was occupied for a personal reason, he was not able to be there. We planned with respect to uh, two faculties orientation. I will give the entire details of the geology. Uh, I have written with respect to one year in civil services also, and also for forest service as geology option. So to an extent, I will be able to speak about the subject. And all the inputs are given by the Aravind faculty. right? And he taught me, he also guided me when I was preparing with respect to it. right? will go on to each and every subject. All I have is a syllabus copy with me, right? So with respect to starting with the subject which I will be handling, forestry, right? Hope all of you are writing the mains and you do have the syllabus with you or else Google for the syllabus you will be able to have. First, number one is the subject is very easy with respect to compared with respect to the other areas, number one. And that is one of the major reason why it is a popular optional and more than 90 plus or 95 percent of the populations, 90 percent of the graduate uh, aspirants take forestry as an optional one. Second thing, we have a long time period of uh, assistance, materials, guidance, test batches has been existing with respect. This is my 11th year of teaching forestry with respect to it, and uh, almost every year, major junk of the uh, students come with respect to it. Yes, and. Uh, as we said with respect to it, the subject will be easier, right? Number one, one and major point will be there. We'll be able to, second question, all uh, have in mind who are writing this mains examination is, will I be able to cover the subject within the next 45 to 50 days? Yes, don't worry about it. I will make it possible with respect to it. Similarly, Arvind will make it possible, Arun sir will make it possible with respect to geology, right? So that will be done uh, by and holding by the Pajiram and Ravi on, right? So almost all the people, except for a smaller junk of the people out of the 3,000, close to 3,000 people writing the mains, close to a smaller junk of the people alone have been prepared for all these months. The large junk of the people prepare, starts preparing after the civil service mains examination, right? So that has to be taken. So I will speak for both the civil service mains uh, written exam people and also for the one who is preparing for the forest services alone exclusively, right? Right. With respect to the subject, right? If you have it in hand, I don't want it. Silviculture. This is the holy book of forestry, right? 
if you understand silvi culture you will be able to understand a large parts of it and this is one particular area one has to focus with respect to oh after that silvi cultural system then mangroves and cold desert that we will be discussing right post that particular part after finishing this part uh, what i will do with respect to the classes is based upon the importance of the topic so both will be same right finish silviculture system and then systems mangroves and cold desert then i will move on to mensuration right the syllabus will speak about management first but you will have to study about the forest mensuration because measurement is the basis for management without data you cannot manage so forest mensuration is the basis once you study mensuration you will have to move on to management working plan will be there this is the core area of forestry i will use pink for paper 1 and yellow for paper 2 with respect to it right after finishing this right we'll take with respect to tree breeding and improvement in paper 1 right similarly with respect to paper 2 we will be discussing on the areas of forest utilization which will include logging non timber forest products wood science this is an important area that will be there after that we will have forest legislation right if you are preparing this should be the order of your preparations this should be the focus order of your preparations followed by that the other areas has to be covered every area should be covered no doubt with respect to it but this should be the focus area when i speak about silviculture silviculture also includes forest ecology of paper 2 it will be available in paper 2 section b first unit that will be there so keep this in mind this is our order this is our priority order this is the core areas of forestry so i divide the forestry into three parts one core forestry second general which will include environment biodiversity and climate change which everyone would have studied for the general studies right so this will be there right apart from that there will be agroforestry social forestry jfm joint forest management and tribology right one number two soil number three watershed people one misconceived opinion will be there which should not be taking place one is people just because uh, agroforestry is a term that we have studied in current affairs social forestry is a term studied in current affairs soil would have been studied in ncert watershed would have been studied in ncert we would have studied only the first two to three lines of for a civil service aspirant first two to three lines of soil we would have studied right watershed only the concept of watershed you would have studied agroforestry and social forestry you would have studied only in current affairs but for us agroforestry itself is one book in forestry as a graduate social forestry is another joint forest management is another tribology is another so soil is a three semester course for me in a four years watershed is a two semester course for me two plus one course that will be there so don't have that opinion i know watershed and i will write watershed that is not how we will get marks right so that should not be the opinion this should be prepared so the why i am categorizing it separately because this is also been studied by agriculture bsc agriculture graduate this is also been studied by uh, other graduates from tamil nadu agriculture university not just forestry graduates like me would have alone studied with respect to it this is again much more important with respect to that right so understand with respect to it second part when we go to paper 2 right you will have some a point called as a unit called as forest protection forest economics will be there forest protection if you look into the syllabus the syllabus is bulky one of the most easiest topic one can study in forestry forest economics the basic economics knowledge you can apply and then you will be able to write with respect to it so i am categorizing it separately with respect to this right this is core area this is allied area so your preparation has to go in this manner we will discuss further more in our classes on which to how to pick the questions 
what questions has to be picked, what is the what is the selection criteria for questions, and picking the questions are more important in terms of getting more number of marks. That is more important. We will discuss more in the classes. Each unit by unit, we will discuss with respect to it, and we'll also have a framework for that. Right. Moving on to one with respect to the syllabus. We have discussed with respect to syllabus, which are core areas, which are allied areas. We have that. Right. Second, the plan for scoring marks. Right. What has been happened in the recent time period? There has been a misconceived opinion which has prevailed like four to five years before. Right. Some people told. Uh, that you read one book, you will be able to get the service that has been there. Everyone would have been uh, listened to that particular opinions. Maybe it would have been partially or selectively true in 2017 or 18 time period, but that is not the case with respect to it. If you have looked into the recent four years, the question pattern has been changed. There is no direct questions. There has been a standing instructions, right? What it says is knowledge has been tested. Right, and if you look into the, there is a percentage of questions, close to 30 percentage of questions in every paper, both paper one and paper two, in every optional that has been mentioned that knowledge is tested. So, what is the standing instruction, or what we can perceive is the question should not come from the book, but question should come from the subject of forestry. Or uh, other words, you read one book, you won't be able to answer. You should have the in-depth knowledge of the subject, you will be able to answer very clearly. If I have to put it across, whatever your four-year graduation that you do have, right? For that four-year graduation, if I am going to study one book, let's assume an engineering, I study one book of engineering. If I come and speak with you, right, your knowledge and my knowledge are not, cannot be comparable with respect to it. That has been tested here. You will have a practical knowledge, you will have a sense of acquired knowledge, understanding of the knowledge that is tested for 30 to 4 percent of the question paper and that has been seen with respect to it. So this is one major change with respect to it, right. One. Number two, if you take 2020 two marking pattern right i've seen close to 200 plus people who went for the interview personally and got discussed with them i've been during the times of one on ones and mock interviews during the times of interview process i know their marks there are people that that this acted as a landmark here last year it acted as a landmark here there are people who scored 50 60s also and 110 also 120 also this variation has been clearly defined last year but before that every time you will have 100 marks so that out of 200 that has been there now it has been evaluation pattern has been changed only there has been an instruction again there should be content there should be structure every one can get the content but structure is more important with respect to it the structure will include the structure will change unit ways so you can't give you a general structure unit by unit structure is going to be changed so you'll have to explain the concepts in a very specific manner with respect to it, right? And there should be in-depth knowledge. Only then you can write science. It is not an another graduation where you can write science is fact. You will have to write the fact, you will have to write the in-depth knowledge for the number of marks and the pages that has been asked. One. So in-depth knowledge has been required. Interlinking the subject. Because science is always interlinking. One will be connected with another. So you'll have to interlink the subject. This will come only if you interlink the subject for a definition asked in forestry for a 10 mark questions, you will be able to write two pages. So you should understand all the core areas of the subject want to interlink with another. It's not just unlike an misnomer opinion which has been prevailing. It says give example, give diagram, you'll get the marks. Those nature, those days and all is not available. Your UP, uh, UPSC has made it very clear, whoever is able to write the content, I will give you the marks. Whoever is not filling the mere filling the papers, I won't give you the marks. This is very good because only the person who has the prepared will be getting more number of marks. Yes, competition has increased. That will make the uh, scenarios also better with respect to it. So this is required. One should have the content, structure, in-depth knowledge is a required, interlinking of subjects is required interlinking of subjects is also required with respect to it so if you are able to provide this then you will be able to give the marks so these are this has to be there along with this s you will have to define you will have to provide a body then you will have to give examples you will have to draw diagrams right don't get clouded or don't get 
misguided by wrong informations like reading one book, reading, writing everything, filling the paper, drawing diagrams with multiple colors. That and all will not help. That UPSC very clearly has made it with respect to last two to three years in the question paper. This last year, I've seen, I'm telling you, you know, 200, most of the people's mark I have seen with respect to it, the screenshots, final marks. It varied. It determined who is in the service and who is not in the service, right? This will come when you have the in-depth knowledge of the subject, more importantly, along with writing practice to a greater extent. Very importantly, what kind of writing practice is required is science-based writing practice. The subject is a science subject and you will have to write the subject in a science manner. Factual informations, introductions, mere introductions, uh, just making up introductions, conclusions, that will not give you marks. If it is a subject has been asked, that proper definition has to be there, proper content has to be there. Clearly, whatever required for the answers has to be there, applications has to be there, examples, diagrams, this has to be there. That's what structure. And structure will vary from subject to subject. The structure for silviculture is different. The structure for silviculture system is different. The structure for mangroves and coal desert will be different. The structure you write in mensuration is different. The structure right you write in management is different. So each and every subject, the structure will vary. And we will discuss much more when we go into the unit-wise discussion on the classes. This is more important along with respect to that. So this skill is required. Understand that, right? So we discussed about the Syllabus, which are the core areas. We saw with respect to core areas of, uh, this is the entire lesson plan we will be discussing, right? As we said, we discussed the subject, short time, how to score marks we discussed, unit-wise discussion and preparation and structure, that will vary, courses with respect to Ajira Mantra, we will discuss that part. This is the core areas with respect to subject, paper one and paper two and allied areas will be there and also we discussed with respect to how much importance has to be provided and we will move on to course details that will be provided. So we do have for forestry two courses, right? One for, uh, one is a classroom program, another is a test batch, right? This test batch is a, for the people who have already been prepared. That's how, how, how we perceive because older students will be there. So we have an exclusive test. This we will have close to 70 hours of class for the last 11 years I have been telling that I will, I will I won't be able to the class will not cover 200 out of 200 marks it will cover 180 to 190 marks we'll finish that 180 to 190 marks all these 11 years we were able to do that with respect to it right uh, so hopefully that will also continue with respect to the same trend one 70 hours we'll finish it how will you finish because we will provide class notes will be written format and written class notes made on the start of your class, we will be providing you the class notes for both forestry and geology. Forestry will be handwritten. Geology is mostly typed notes will be available along with handwritten. So this will be with respect to it. Apart from that, four plus two test will also be provided. This four plus two is four is sectional, two is full test will be provided with respect to it, right? One major thing which uh, we, we have, last year I did not give any class notes, but this year we are including the class notes for one reason, because UPSC is changing the pattern. UPSC is changing the writing pattern. So I wanted to have a more class notes, so memorize it and go on with respect to it. One. And the, this year we've also been bringing up with respect to daily answer writing practice. In the month of November, for 20 days, we will have daily answer writing practice, right? So to, to with the first itself, we will be given a entire micro syllabus categorization for 20 days. For first 20 days, you will be given the micro syllabus categorization to cover all the portions. Number of questions will be given, right? And once you finish the per day subject, write the things, right? Before also, if you have written test also, it is fine. We will again and again improve with respect to it. Whatever the daily answer writing has been done, on the day, we will have either the recorded video discussion or the live discussion will be done with respect to it, which will include the answer format, what should be there. What is the introduction? What is the body content? What is the examples? What is the applications? Everything will be given. One model answer will be shown with respect to it, right? Like in iPad, we will write it, share the screen and show with respect to it. So 20 days you will be cultivated. I wanted to keep it closer toward the examination for two reasons. One, the month of October you prepare. 
In the month of November, you will have the subject knowledge. So you will be equipped with respect to content, right? So now structure we will work on to it. If I start in the month of October, content itself will be struggling. So structure is of no use, one. Second reason, most of our people have been humanities optional background. So they have written the skill, understand the skill of writing humanities paper. Now, if you work on this 20 days, closer towards the examination on writing science again and again, cultivation of mind will come. That's what I believe in with respect to it. So automatically there will be a change over shift from the first day to 20th day, right? So we will be equipped with respect to this. So this we will be incorporating with respect to it. This is with respect to the classroom program, right? Uh, test batch will include four plus two sectional tests, right? And daily answer writing practice. That will be there. For the test, you will have question papers. Uh, discussion video will be provided as a recorded lecture because the short time will be there. So we won't be able to schedule a day and do the live session will be there. Recorded lecture will be provided. Number three, model answer will be given for the forestry also. One model answer will be written and will be provided also. And fourth, uh, after the test has been written, evaluated, we will have in-person discussions. For the people who are online, we will have over Zoom calls or uh, phone calls or WhatsApp video calls, whatever it is. We'll do with respect to video calls means Zoom will do it or else over the phone we'll do with respect to it. This is what we provide with respect to forestry. The same structure will be incorporated with respect to geology also. Maybe the class hours will be slightly extended with geology. That will all we'll do with respect to it. Any doubts with respect to forestry? Because I will finish the forestry, take the doubts and then we'll go on to geology. Sir, out of geology and forestry, which one will be best with chemistry? Uh, Eshpal, if you are asking for your, I, I, I understand you, one of your optional is chemistry and along with that geology and forestry you are asking with respect to it. Uh, I would suggest you to go through the syllabus and after going through the syllabus uh, and previous year question papers, you can decide with respect to it. Uh, and as you said, chemistry, 10 standard basic chemistry is required for one or two chapters of geology, right? But it's 10 standard basic chemistry, everyone will know. Your masters of chemistry is not required. Right? So you go through the syllabus and the previous year question papers. Please include geology as a CAC optional also. It has already been a CAC optional done by the UPSC. I, I believe Rupam you are asking about including with respect to Vajiram and Ravi as a core structure. Uh, within this classes, you can take the same classes what uh, uh, Mr. Arvind sir will be teaching with respect to it, which will be, I hope you will be able to comfortable with respect to it. On the first day of the class, you can meet him and also ask how it will be helpful. When will the geology optional classes are going to start? Okay, uh, geology optional classes are starting on 30th of September and forestry classes are starting with respect to uh, 4th of October. And every classes will be, uh, as per our schedule, we will finish the classes by end of October itself. So November will be completely free with respect to you. That, and uh, if you go to the website, uh, just Google as forestry, Vajiram and Ravi, geology, Vajiram and Ravi, you will be able to get the classes. We have given a tentative schedule of which day, which subject will be done also. It's been provided for both forestry and geology to have a clear picture of it, right? Vivek uh, Roy, just go through the website. Your All your details will be available for the fee structure and all those things. Uh, in Vajiram website for the test series, it is showing two options, forestry, VTS, Delhi Forestry BTS Chennai. I would like to join for online testries. Which one should I register with respect to it? You can register either of the two. No problem with respect to it. Vajiram has two centers. One is Delhi and Chennai. So people joining Chennai will be joining with respect to Chennai. People join Delhi will join with respect to Delhi. If you are joining online, you can enroll with respect to Delhi itself. For old studies, when is forestry and geology test batch starting? I, I believe, Saran, it is old students, when is forestry and geology test batch has been starting? Forestry starts with respect to 4th of October. So, uh, entire test batch schedule is available in the website also, right? So, Saran, just go through the Vajiram, just Google, uh, go to the Vajiram website, you will be able to see uh, forestry and geology will be available. Or else Google as Vajiram uh, and Ravi forestry test batch, geology test batch, automatically the link will, first pop-up link will be there. You will be able to get that. Yeah, now we'll go on to geology. Yes, so. Geology. First, uh, we'll take the questions again slightly later, right? Is this course available online mode? The course is available in offline, online and hybrid mode. All three positions is available. Uh, whatever the way that you have been taking with respect to it, the recorded videos will be uploaded in your portal. Uh, 
if all goes well, before the next day it will be uploaded and it will be available for a certain number of days to watch you also. So if by any chance you miss the class, the next day also you can watch it. If you attended the class and you wanted to watch it again, also you will be able to watch it with respect to it. So no problem. The rest of the things from Ayush, I will slightly take uh, with respect to after finishing the geology. And geology will be handled by Mr. Aravind, right? And he, the initial plan was to both the faculties to present the orientation, but he has been engaged for the personal reason, so he's not available. So I will be doing under his guidance, right? And as I told already, I wrote one year with geology as a forest service optional and one with respect to civil service option. And both the time periods, Aravind is, is the person who guided me to go with respect to what to read and what not to read. And I, I don't know, I will, I will not say this for anyone, but you can't see one particular person as so humble and so student friendly like Aravind with respect to it. You can, even if you have a small doubt and put it in the telegram number of his and he will send you a, if a question, you will write the answer and then you will put it across, a voice note to put it across. Such an approachable person will be there. And he has the, done PhD in geology and has 13, 12 to 13 years of, no, 14 to 15 years of field experience in the field of geology, in uh, field experience in the terrain, in multiple states in the country. Uh, also, I think in, in India, some exposures outside as well, I believe so, and close to 10 years of teaching. And he started the teaching from his school, college days, grabbing the juniors. I will teach you geology. You write this exam, you write this exam, go for the masters, go for the PhD. He started his respected coming from a very humble background and also such a approachable person. So you will, when you see him, you will be able to understand, right? And this is with respect to Arvind's profile, right? One. Second, with respect to geology, uh, three parts I will take with respect to it. And as some basic idea as he has been taught me already. So I'll go on with respect to things. So you have the syllabus, how the cl classes will go on according to him and also for the importance of uh, the subjects, right? The first he will be discussing with respect to general geology and geomorphology. And these are subjects which has been studied by everyone for your GS prelims and mains. If you look into general geology and geomorphology, it is nothing but geography, basic geography will be there. So you'll complete it very quickly and then you will move on to the next, right? And this is the first two parts, right? And remote sensing will be there. That is slightly kept later. I will discuss about that. Third will be structural geology. After structural geology, you will be moving on with respect to stratigraphy. Paleontology. See, this too has to be studied combined. If you study stratigraphy, paleontology, next paleontology has to be studied with respect to structural geology. You can study, go on studying engineering geology and hydrogeology. Subjects are interconnected. As I said, science subject will always be interconnected. That will be there, right? After paleontology, you will be moving on with respect to geochemistry. This is paper one. Now I move on to slightly integrate the subjects with respect to it. So I'm using the same. Geochemistry, you will be able to see geochemistry present in paper two last unit will be geochemistry, right? After geochemistry, you will be discussing with respect to mineralogy and crystallography. This will be discussed. Then petrology, petrology as in igneous petrology, study of rocks. So igneous rock, metamorphic rocks and sedimentary rocks will be studied with respect to it. So this will go on. This is the core area. After finishing that particular part, right, you will be taking with respect to economic geology and then mining geology. This is our classes. This is how the preparation has to be there, right? This will be going on in this particular order. Whereas one can, all these areas require technical assistance because all these are new. Right? I will write it slightly later with respect to the pink pen, which one can study by themselves, which is general geology. I boxed it because it's common, right? General geology, geomorphology, remote sensing, environment geology, engineering geology. This one can study by themselves, right? 
But other than that, every single area will be there. If you look into it, Stratigraphy, Structural Geology and Paleontology. Out of 320 marks in the mains examination with the options, this area will occupy 170 to 180 marks. So you can understand entire paper 150% of the, these three. These three in paper one. It's a 200 mark exam, but options will be given. So it goes to 320 marks in overall. Out of the 320, this will occupy 50%. Close to 50% will be there. So you understand this core area is some things one has to study with respect to it. Structural geology, they will be studying about the structure, how the rocks and maybe even if you are a geography optional student, you would have studied what is dip and what is strike. That's all you would have studied. Nothing more would have been studied with respect to it. This will go on in detail with everything with respect to that. Stratigraphy, according to his words, it will be like studying history, how the earth has been formed. Paleontology is about how the life has been emerged out of it. These two will be there. This will go on. Similarly, geochemistry and mineralogy, one knows only petrograph, petrology will be comfortable. And this, the crystallography, I still remember vividly with respect to how he teaches crystallography. One non-dust eraser, this is how he taught me in his room. One non-dust eraser, six pins, he finished crystallography for me at mineral phases. I was like, how okay, can one put it across? He will be coming across and will be discussing with respect to the same one, right? Second is, uh, with respect to the, this is with respect to the syllabus and second part was why geology close to 20 to 25 percent of the syllabus 20 percent of the syllabus is covered in general studies or by oneself easily 80 percent of the syllabus one needs technical assistance like how we saw with forestry also it needs a large amount of areas of technical assistance is there this requires a large technical assistance will be required one Second, right? Second major advantage with choosing geology is overlap of paper one and paper two. That will be an another overlap will be taking place, which will be available in every science subject like forestry. So that continues with respect to year also, right? Second part will be there, right? Third is it's as a very precise syllabus, especially for Indian Forest Service examination. I'm just comparing forestry and geology because a couple of people asked about it, right? Whereas in case of forestry, the syllabus has been largely very limited with respect. That's why it is also easier with respect to it. So no need to worry about that particular part. And you will mention two books and class notes. That's all. Whereas in case of forestry, I'll give you the class notes along with that one book you will have to prepare with respect to it. No need to go for multiple number of books. What is inadequate or what is not inadequate would be a wrong choice of word. What is cannot be provided within one book. One book will always have a limitation to provide the entire four-year course, right? That nature will be supplemented by the notes for you. That will be suffix, right? And this will be done. And in geology, it will also provide you a micro syllabus. And understanding the micro syllabus as per in, will be able to understand 25% of the syllabus. In the classes, he will come with the micro syllabus. He will provide you the micro syllabus and teach you the micro syllabus. And that will cover 25% of the entire paper, paper one and paper two. That he will fulfill with respect to it, right? And yeah, I think I have told the merits of geology as well, right? Then moving across with respect to scoring of marks, this will vary slightly with respect to geology. The approach it will take with respect to micro syllabus. As we said, micro syllabus will be taught as yes, syllabus understanding. These two will cover 25% of the portion. This will be done with respect to it. And his notes are very precise. You write the notes, you will get the marks. Memorize and write the notes. You will be able to get the marks with respect to it. Static area, one has to understand the concept. Right? Then, as we told for forestry, again, with respect to the same things, knowledge is required. Content, structure, in-depth knowledge, interconnecting the syllabus. Here also interconnecting the syllabus will be there. One advantage with the geology and forestry interconnecting syllabus is every time you read paper one, you are reading something of paper two. Every time you read paper two, your paper one will be revised again. This is interconnected. 
people read it as silos and silos and silos. That is not how forestry or geology has been there. Everything is interconnected with respect to it. So revisions will be done without your knowledge itself. Once you finish the entire portions, you will be able to coherently write. That is one reason why we kept the daily answer writing practice in the November. Once you finish the entire portions, you read it, your mind will automatically, okay, silly culture has to be connected to systems. System has to be connected to mensuration. Mensuration has to be connected to management. In geology, you will have a knowledge. Structural geology has to be connected to engineering geology. Stratigraphy has to be connected to paleontology. Stratigraphy, paleontology has to be connected to economic geology. These has to be connected with respect to mining geology, right? So this interconnections are much more required, right? Interlinking. This int why this interlinking is required? Only one has an in-depth knowledge, they will be able to interlink. If you don't have an in-depth knowledge, you won't be able to, one won't be able to interlink with respect to it. So this interlinking will show the in-depth knowledge of the particular person. So automatically the evaluator will be like, yeah, 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 look at it. So how beautifully the person has linked one with another. So let me give more marks that will come with respect to it. Apart from this diagram, examples, this is required. Right? Maybe one more book he will say is Atlas maps, some basic, basic maps that everyone will be knowing with respect to it. This is what with respect to the subject of geology. So I spoke with respect to subject, self-study, right? And why geology and also mark scoring. And one another thing, people will have a question with respect to seeing the syllabus. Everything is new to me. How will I be able to cover within 40 days? Don't worry about it. If it is forestry, all you do require is you, all you would have read about the basics of environment and uh, biodiversity and climate change, right? So subject will go in that manner. Very basic knowledge will be going on with respect to forestry. One, it has to be interconnected, right? Some number of mathematics, basic mathematics will come in two areas, mensuration and management, 10 standard mathematics, right? If it is beyond 10 standard mathematics, I would not have studied forestry. Honestly saying with respect to it, because I won't be able to clear the examination, right? And that is one reason why I took forestry as a degree also, because that doesn't have mathematics, right? And so you'll have to interconnect the subject. You'll have to require a large amount of basic knowledge has to be there, right? That is second part will be there. Then interdip connecting. This subject also has one limitation, which is definition will be there, that's all. But in UPSC, they will ask for 10 marks. Or will you write on definition for 10 marks? That will come only if you understand the subject, why we are doing it, what is the practice of it, what is the applications, what is the advantages. So the subject has to be, this is more of a practical, practical subject. The practical subject, science evolved, forestry evolved in that manner. We do something, it will be a failure. We'll say that, don't do this, this will be a failure. We did something, this would have been a success mistakes, errors, that would have been the subject will be there. So you should require a more of practical knowledge. So I think this is not a problem for one to take forestry. Very basically, this can be covered, right? Similarly, geology, right? Basics of geography, not more than that, which you studied for preliminary and GS means suffix. Nothing more than that. You can be any optional persons. 10th standard level chemistry and 10th standard level biology. This also everyone will be able to fulfill. With that, geology can be covered with respect to it. How you will be able to cover in 40 days? That's what we said with respect to 40 days. You have to cover within the 30 to 40 days. Only then another 20 days you will be able to revise it, write it and then go into the examination. So that will be done with respect to it. Right? And along with that, one requires a flare with respect to the subject. As already told, since 2018, question paper has been largely changed with respect to it. Subject knowledge has been asked. Why based questions are asked? What based questions are not asked with respect to it? Second is 2022, evaluation pattern has been completely changed. So requires a lot and lot of writing practice, in-depth knowledge of the subject. Now we'll take the doubt with respect to it. Ah, from Ayush, what optional will suit with chemistry? Ayush, any optional, both the optional will shoot with chemistry or other options are also there. You might be a person with physics or max stat interest will be there. So I would suggest you to go with respect to previous year UPSC questions for three years of the option that you are choosing. First, look into the syllabus and then take the 
syllabus for it. How much syllabus for forestry will be completed in 70 hours with respect to CSE? No, it is not CSE, it is IFS examination, Indian Forest Service examination, right? 70 hours of both the things, I will be able to, that's what I told you, no? close to 180 to 190 marks, you will be able to write out of 200. So totally 320 marks will be there, you will be able to write 180 to 190. Why this 180 to 190? One compulsory questions you are not going to write in 1 and 5. If they make it harder, the rest of the things we will make sure you will be able to write. Sir, I have a gentle doubt for UPSC IFOS physical requirement. Yes. What is the height needed for male candidate? 150 centimeter. Female, it is 140 centimeter. Forestry classes in Chennai, is that offline or online? Offline, online and hybrid. With the rain, something like today that has been happened, I hope that everyone in Chennai will be taking online, right? Uh, there was like close to 40 plus people told we will come here and then meet and I also had uh, thought like we will speak after the session also with respect to it. But finally, when the rain has been seen, like last two hours, you won't be able to do anything offline here, right? Even for sometimes, uh, we, we were worried, what if the internet goes down? What if the electricity goes down? But then the people who are technical people said, no, 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 we have a generator, we have multiple Wi-Fi's and all those has been there. So we did not have the problem. So this is a question that always has been in mind. Courses are available in offline, online and hybrid mode. Yes, Ashrath. So no need to worry about that kavya. In Chennai, it will be mostly, you can take it in the online part, right? And most of the people in STA and all those people said they wanted to take it in the online part. So that will be fine with respect to it, right? Uh, and also the recorded video will also be provided. You don't have to worry about that. Note, preparing for 2024. Okay, I noted it. What should I do? Book list for forest years, chapter wise, how to approach if you do self preparations. If you want chapter wise, I allow to give all 27 books which I have prepared for my four year of graduation. Sir, please tell us the book list for geology. Uh, Aravind will be giving K.M. Bangar, Principles of Engineering Geology by K.M. Bangar. The more the book list will be given by the faculty. Is it okay to take botany and forestry as a combination? So if you are good with respect to botany, you can take it. Look into the syllabus and the previous year question paper. Right. One another thing, what both the people will be able to provide us. I have done my bachelor's in forestry and then postgraduate diploma in environment, law and policy, master's in water policy and governance, and worked with respect to uh, the government of Tamil Nadu as a forest range officer for a period of time. So we will be bringing you both the theoretical knowledge and the practical knowledge. The same applies with the other faculty as well. PhD in geology, 13 years of field experience and 10 years of teaching, where both will be provided with. That's how you will get the more field knowledge practical knowledge will be there i have some spare time this year not working fully at the office will be working full time at office or switching over to mba next year is it advisable to join the optional next year could it be managed for working professionals uh, if you have more time you can join this year and prepare for the preliminary once you prepare the preliminary next year you don't have this sense of one questioning thought that will be arising in mind that 40 days will it be sufficient or not that will not be there at least one day is this course whole syllabus will be taught uh, as we told with respect to it every time we told some of the portions that is written in the sideways uh, which are general subjects which are easy subjects one can prepare those will be not be taught specific topics within those areas alone will be taught right the core core areas close to 70 to 80 percent of the subject will be taught 20 percent is interlinking with respect to general studies 15 to 20 percent that will not be taught due to paucity of time, only because of the paucity of time, because the course is largely focused with respect to mainstream candidates of this year. So we have to take that particular stand. Within the cost benefit analysis, as per your syllabus in forestry, forest economics, we will have to take the time period, apply larger amount of uh, question paper analysis, syllabus analysis, all those things put it across and then see this much you read and then brought in. As I told, I started studying forestry in 2004. Since then, I have been following with respect to Indian Forest Service examination. So this is my 20th, 19th or 20th year of following the Indian Forest Service examination. That is how we predict the question papers. If you ask, how we will be able to do. I have no background in forestry and geology starting from class. Will the course would be suitable for me or not? 100%. We will start the class in a way that because 99 percentage of the populations have no basic uh, background in both the subjects so we will be starting as teaching to a fresher not to someone who is taking forestry as a graduate i have my own junior who is in the uh, online mode 
who asked me the questions, when will the test batch will start? Because he, I told him not to take the, because he asked me whether I have to take the classes. He has done bachelor's in forestry, one person. So he's taking the test batch with respect to it. He's not coming to the class. So we always have this in mind. All the people who are sitting as a non-forestry and non-geology background. So don't have to worry about it, Anand. I'm preparing for 2024 examination. What is the approach to study forestry if you do in the self preparations? Same. So we, I told you what is the priority and how to go on with respect to it. Structure it as a priority and study with respect to it. Any other doubts? I'll wait for another one minute or two minutes if by any chance if you are typing, right? Any doubts from offline? 27th or 28th we'll finish with respect to 26th I believe we are finishing the forestry classes. Uh, classes will be between 7.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Morning 7.30 to 1.30. Last year I had the classes between 10 to 1 and then 2.30 to 5. Something of that I kept it with respect to it. What happened is like I thought like leisurely I will be able to take. And all the students when I took the feedback they told that uh, it takes the entire day out of it. And they suggested you keep it in the morning to afternoon. So even if you finish it at 1.30 something we come and have lunch sleep for 2 hours. You can start at 3 or 3.30 until 11 we will be have. So we will have it in mind. That's a perception they projected it. We have half a day to prepare. That perception they gave us. So we went on with respect to 7.30 to 1 based upon the student's request. So that, is it not like, uh, we are not watching it uh, the recorded video will be available? Yes, yes, the recorded video will be available, but a stipulated time period. I, I believe that it's a three days or seven days, some time is available. You can watch it with respect to it. That will automatically come in your portal. So. Mostly on the same day, but I'm promising for the next day. Mostly on the same day, it will come with respect to it. Uh, but I'm promising before the next day, end of the next day, it will be there. Because sometimes technical issues will be there. We won't be able to manage it as well. That's it. Yes, we'll go with the notes first, and then we'll take the book with respect to it. My senior, my college senior has wrote that uh, money get an intro book. Right. I told in 2011, I have been telling that in 2023 as well. We have also updated with respect to it. Okay, no doubts from online. I'll wait for a few more seconds if you by any chance you are typing. Jagan, neither doubt written. Sindhu? KM Bangar. Hmm. Because, see, understand. Whatever the graduation you have, one book will not suffix at all. That two, after 2018, when they change the question paper, it doesn't suffix. So what we will do is like, whatever that is not available in the book, we will give us a notes. So we have made the notes available with respect to it, with the diagrams, with the examples, with practical case studies, all those has been prepared. So this two will suffix. We'll go with the notes first and the book second. That's how we approach with respect to it. And then we'll go with respect to the books. If any topic is uh, not present in that, in our notes, you'll go with the books, something like basics. And for forestry, environment, and biodiversity will not be provided in the notes. Because everyone knows environment and biodiversity, so I don't have to provide. Sir, can you please provide your email? Come to that. Yes, is it useful for geology, optional for CSE for 2024? Abhishek, uh, as I told already, uh, I did one year, uh, one attempt in UPSC with geology in forest service and civil service under the guidance of Mr. Aravind sir. And he will be the right person to speak on it because he teaches. Yes, it will be useful in my personal opinion, but more details you get it from him, right? With additional to Maniran Prabhu book, what can be referred? Class notes, Vasant. Good evening, sir. Could you please suggest some idea to prepare for the next year forest service examination 2024? Uh, it will be uh, with respect to same approach. You take the same approach and write with it. Is the course will be in English or English or in the plus English mode, right? So, okay. One thing I will I will list you the details also with respect to it. Once it is a science paper, right? One second reason is unlike civil service examination in Indian Forest Service examination, you can't write this exam in your mother tongue. You can write only in English. So there is no possibility of you to write in the mother tongue because that is science. You can't write vernier caliper or something with this technical with respect to Boyer's laws or one tune and mental of one mental form laws in Hindi or in Pali, in Tamil, in Malayalam, in Kannada. That will not be able to do. Every subject has science 
is being there and students getting benefited will be done only if it has been taught in English. The subject will be completely taught in English. But if it is a technical subject, we will give you analogy. In forestry, I will tell you openly. I, I sometimes see, take chicken biryani as an example to teach with respect to menstruation and management. Or paneer biryani or what is it? Paneer biryani or whatever it is. Paneer biryani or whatever it is. We'll take it. If you are a vegetarian, you go with the paneer biryani. If it is non-vegetarian, you go with chicken biryani. Right? Inclusive, yeah. Will it be useful to take botany optional for CSE also? Shalini. See, these are questions uh, require more detailed discussion, I believe. I will be in Delhi between 10, 10 to 30. I will be in Delhi part. So we will be able to discuss uh, Shalini in person. You can step in Bajiram and Ravi. We can discuss on that particular part. Um, my mail ID is... Mail ID is a case insensitive. I am writing it in capital only because it should not be uh, miscommunicated. And do understand during the times of October and November, I will have three to four classes. So getting back to you in mail will also be an hard task, but I will try with respect to it. And once the course starts, I will give you my phone number also. Everyone can have the number once the course starts and the students, but make sure that you don't call me at 11 or 12 at midnight. For people from Tamil Nadu, Aravind sir will be available in Chennai as well as Delhi. He will be shuffling between the places. You can meet him also and you will be able to get in-person doubts and clarifications in both the places, Chennai and Delhi. If it is online, you can connect it through telecommunication network. I'll be on 4, 5 and then after 10 of October, Abhishek. Yes, Bajiram and Ravi official has also provided my mail ID for the people who ever want it. Right? And regarding the course, you will be able to go to Bajiram and Ravi website, search for the forestry and geology, or else Google it, forestry, Bajiram and Ravi classroom program, forestry geology classroom program, or forestry test batch, Ajiram and Ravi, the first link will pop it up and you will be able to see the details. Class schedule, test schedule will also be there. And one more information before I conclude. Yes, uh, there is also a plan. We will have a full test. As per the schedule, we'll have a full test and the full test will be the uh, paper full test. Uh, I forgot the num dates. Forestry will be there. One or two day gap. Geology will be there. Before that, on a day, you will have general English on general knowledge also. So that paper will also be provided to the classroom students and the test batch students so that you will have one complete mock. If the persons who have ever written as a civil service means examination like you, right, it will be comfortable with respect to it because five major areas will be there. All two areas you people have to focus on uh, for general knowledge with respect to it. One is with respect to the history part in civil services, we don't study about administration, ancient and medieval. Here in both ancient and medieval, administration based questions of history will be asked. This is one area you will have to study because in prelim also, in mains also, we don't study for administration in ancient medieval. That area will be asked. Second, you will have to study about science, general science, basic science, science and technology. Everything in one paper, not everything will be there. You will have polity, you will have geography, you will have history, you will have economics, you will have science and environment. This is all you have, right? So compared with respect to the civil service examinations, the amount of subject units are limited here. That is why they will be able to complete in one paper. So very limited number of questions will come. Uh, 300 marks, so six units, each unit 50 marks. So history 50 marks, that's all. Polity 50 marks. Economics 50 marks, geography 50 marks, that will be there. So one is going to be from ancient, one is going to be from medieval, one is going to be from modern. One more question will come from either of the three areas in history. That alone will be there. And uh, I will also extend this session to uh, people who are exclusively preparing for Indian Forest Service mains this year, who have not written the GS civil service examination completely. If you are preparing for completely with respect to it, these people, whoever has written the civil service mains examination are a tough competition for you in GK. 
So you people, whoever is exclusively preparing and not attend the civil service mains examination, you will have to strengthen yourself in general knowledge because last year people have got 160 out of 300 in general knowledge. That's like a top score. And people who prepared exclusively with respect to it also have got 160, but some of the people have struggled to get 120 and 130. This 30 to 40 marks will be a huge variation entering into the mains from interview or interview to service. That has to be ensured with respect to it. And we will discuss more when we go on to, we will discuss more when we go on to classes of division and dividing and also discussing which area to focus and which area not to focus on it. Vajiram and Ravi will extend one GK paper and one general English paper also to make the test that will be provided, right? So you will have one complete structure before you write and go with respect to it. And general English will be available with essay for 100 marks, Prissy, letter or report, grammar part, all this will be available, right? This essay is only for 100 mark. You are writing an essay in English paper. Understand that. Where both content is required and also English is required. Don't make grammatical mistakes. That's all I say with respect to it. This grammar you will have to prepare. Prissy and letter also prepare, right? Prepare at least few years of questions of Prissy writing, letter writing, report writing. Have Renan Martin or Raymond Murphy read the rules of letter writing, read the rules of report writing, Prissy writing. Prissy is not writing one third. Prissy is writing the subject with its content, with its nature, with its intent in your own language in one third. You write one third, mark won't come. You will have to precede it, right? And then put it across with respect to it. Grammar, prepare for at least last 10 years of grammar and then go on with respect to it. This is required. And I hope everyone knows, some of the people are also 2024, they said. General knowledge will be for 300. General English will be for 300. Apart from that, option, paper 1 is 200. Paper 2 is 200. Second option. Paper 1 is 200, paper 2 is 200, interview 300, right? This will be done. Post the mains examination, we will have dedicated interview sessions, two one-on-one -on -one mocks I will be sitting with you and then full panel mock interviews will also be there that we will guide with respect to it, right? No need to worry. One most important point before I come, 90% of the people will start preparations now. So you are not different. So don't worry about it. Maybe within this, or else take it as 80% maybe, because 10% of the people would have appeared for last year. Another 10% or 5% of the people would have prepared from the earlier time periods. But this numbers of 20% is increasing. So competition is more. So you should have to compete with them. And that is suffix with respect to it. Thanks, this session really helped out. Welcome. And Sindhu. So Yes, but you don't have to worry about the time management because the questions in terms of civil service means, the questions in terms of Indian forest service means, this is more straightforward compared to the civil service means question papers, right? So we will be able to write with respect to it. Space will also be a limited space will be available, 10, 15 marks. We will be able to manage. We will be able to complete with respect to it. Not a problem, right? Give to importance to administration side and basic science side. That will be done. Right? And most of your forestry notes will also be one page notes or two page notes. I don't want to dump you with respect to multiple notes. So either it will be one side notes or two side notes. This is what we did with respect to it. Right? I think I answered the notes part also. Uh, I did my 12th with PCM and BA in graduation. If you have done BA in graduation, uh, can I give the IFS examination, Abhishek? If, I agent, if you have one subject with mathematics or one subject, I owe BA, I don't know, one subject with mathematics, Statistics, Physics, Chemistry, Botany, Zoology in one subject, one semester, one subject in your graduation, then you are eligible. Your 12th is not taken into consideration, your graduation is taken into consideration. Earlier it was only science graduation, but last few years they changed it to one subject in either Physics, Chemistry, Botany, Zoology, Mathematics or Statistics. You can see the, just Google it, they will be able to see the subject names. Any doubts online? I will just wait for one more minute. Any doubts here? Shalini, thank you. Fine, we'll end the session. Thank you very much.